Hey guys, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And yes, I'm not put together. The lighting's weird. My face might look weird. This is not makeup I would choose for a video, but like I said in previous videos, I just wanted to record this because I was thinking of some funny stories and then some sad stories came up and I was like, you know what, let me just let me get some content here. Let's, let's just do this. So today's video is about the day that I hit Rick Schroeder with my car. Now, if you don't know who Rick Schroeder is, Mainly, I know him as my first pretend boyfriend, Silver Spoons, look it up. <laughs> he was also on NYPD Blue uh, for a time. So back when I lived in LA, I was doing background work and I actually had an agent for this, which is kind of weird, I suppose. I was also in the Maria Maria video. You can't see me, but I've got a whole story about that too. But anyway, I get called up. Okay, they want you on NYPD Blue. What kind of car do you have? <laughs> well, at the time I had a 91 Chevy Lumina blue, right? It was on its last leg, this poor thing. And they're like, perfect, bring the car. Is it nice and dirty? I don't, yeah, I, yeah, probably. I mean, honestly, <laughs> I don't wash my car, so yeah, it's probably dirty. Perfect, perfect, we love that. So drive it onto the lot, they're gonna tell you what to do. So I get the car on there. These people come out with these magnetic uh, license plates because I had California license plates on and it's NYPD blue. So we need New York plates on there. So they come out and they put those on. And this guy walks up to me, he's got like a headset. He doesn't even introduce himself. I have no idea who he is to this day. I have no idea who he is. He comes up and he says, how are your brakes? <laughs> First, <laughs> gotta back up. First he comes up and does this for me to put my window down. He goes, how are your brakes? Good? Yeah, my, like really good? Yeah, they're fine, my brakes are fine. Okay, you're gonna drive around, don't go you know, faster than like, I think it was like five miles an hour or something like that. Watch me and when I do this, you slam as hard as you can on your brakes. I mean, slam on those brakes, okay? Listen to me closely. You have to slam on your brakes and if there's a camera in your face, don't look at it. Go, and we're going. Okay, oh, oh. okay, we're going, okay. <laughs> so. I start driving and I'm watching this guy, watching this guy. He does this. I slam on my brakes. Rick Schroeder comes flying across the hood of my car, like slides over. Dennis Franz is behind him, like, you know, putting his hands out and they're running across the street in this scene. And I'm sitting there like, who? Like, seriously. I mean, imagine how shocking that is. You have no idea what's coming. And then Rick Schroeder's just like flying across your hood. And there's a camera in my face. And all I remember was like, don't look at the camera. Oh, you know, freaking out. So they yell cut. Some dude, I guess maybe it's the director. Again, who am I? I don't know, no, <laughs> I have no idea who anybody is. And he looks at me, he goes, excellent face. Do that next time. Rick, less on that. It's more about like she almost hits you. Like she doesn't completely hit you. And then I like, st I mean like still like stunned, like completely stunned. I wrote down my window, I'm like, is he okay? <laughs> And Rick goes, and Dennis Franz is like, yeah, he's fine. He's fine. You're good. You're good. I was like, okay. And I look over at the guy with the headset. He's like, that was perfect. Just do it again. All right. You know, think about this. I am not a stunt driver. I mean, I guess we're not doing like a huge, huge, but still like that's a car, like a real car <laughs> coming at an actor. I don't know about that, guys. I, you don't know me from nobody. Okay. But anyway, so we loop back around. And as I'm at the back of the building, I'm kind of calming down. I'm like, Hey, did he dent my 91 Chevy Lumina? Cause he could have, okay? Did he scratch my paint with his belt? Cause he could have, okay? <laughs> and I'm like, you know, if I had a nicer car, I'd be kind of ticked off at that right now. But I'm in a hunk of junk, so you're lucky. Okay, today's your lucky day, NYPD Blue. <laughs> so we go back around. The second time, now I know what's coming. So now there's a little acting involved, right? A little bit, a little tiny bit. My degree in acting is coming in handy as the driver of the 91 Chevy Lumina that almost hits, now almost hits Rick Schroeder. So we're doing the whole thing, the one I done, and he comes out like kind of scurrying back. This would have been probably around, I never saw the episode. Back then I was, it was just chaos. Like I never got a chance to see TV, <laughs> which is really, really weird, but I didn't. Um, I don't even know if we could afford cable back then. I don't think we did. So I didn't see a lot of the shows. But if you're a fan of the show, I never saw how much of my car was in the shot or whatever. But um, when would that have been? 99, 2000? Year 2000 maybe-ish? Eh? 
Again, a blue Lumina. If you know what episode it is, let me know. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> so go around again. This time he kind of, he still kind of lands on the car too much. And they're like, Rick, don't lay on the car. <laughs> and they're like, you good face, keep going. And so we come back around. And then I think, again, I have no idea what shot they actually use, but it was kind of just Rick Schroeder kind of bouncing back from the car, like, oh my God. And, and the whole bit. So, so there's that part. Another time that I was on set, <laughs> There's a craft services table. Now, if you've never done background work, it's, and background work is just like the, the filler people in a scene, okay? If you're lucky, you get to cross and you get to pretend like watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. You're talking to somebody, right? You just kind of mouth the words, that, then you fancy, right? All right, so <laughs> but when you have craft services, it depends on the show. Every show is different. Some are really, really generous and everyone is welcome to have the food and drink and VIP was like that. Just as a side note, Pamela Anderson's show from, guys, I did this a long time ago, so it might be <laughs> beyond what you know or whatever, but there was a show she did called VIP. She would sit with us. Everyone got all the food. Um, I don't, I'm assuming it was her. I heard through the grapevine that she was the one that was like, everybody gets treated equally. And I love that woman. If that's true, I love her for that because Sometimes we got treated like animals. I'm not kidding. <laughs> You'd be lucky if they gave you a bottle of water because um, you're not one of the main actors, right? But VIP was not like that. And clearly NYPD Blue was not like that either. But I wasn't sure. So I walk on up and I see this espresso machine sitting there. And I had worked it as a barista to get myself through college. And, you know, while I was acting, I, I worked as a barista. So I was like an artisanal <laughs> coffee maker whatever and so I see this and I'm like oh okay I'm going on like two hours of sleep because I had a late shoot last night I had to get first thing in the morning for this I would totally love a latte right now so I go up and I'm you know it's kind of like please sir may I have another and I, I go up and I'm like is this for everybody and the craft services person's like yeah go ahead and walks away so I, I go up to this <laughs> espresso machine and it's on but it's not working and so I'm messing around with it. And this person walks up around here and I was like, okay, um, how do you work this thing? And then the person's face comes right here and it's Rick Schroeder. Like if I wanted to go, I mean, <laughs> he was close. I mean, he was close. And he goes, um, you know, I'm not sure. I've never really worked one of those before. And I was like, oh, I thought it was a craft services person. I thought, cause they walked around the table. I thought they were <laughs> coming around. Oh my God, really? really uh so <laughs> I was like oh I'm sorry he goes no it's okay and he's like let's figure this out so he he's messing with it and then he reaches up to <laughs> guys if you have an espresso machine or you ever worked as a barista what's the number one thing you don't do with the machine take the top thing off you don't screw the top off why leave your comment down below I'll wait for you that's right it explodes okay steam will come flying out it's under pressure Yes, that's the pressure that goes into the wands. So he's unscrewing that top like, like something magical is going to happen. I was like, ah, oh, no, 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 no. He does it. It blows. <laughs> the steam goes blow. He's like, whoa. And we're both like, holy crap. And he's like, whoa, that's dangerous. Of course, it's loud. It's getting everybody's attention. And he hurries up and he puts it back on. And he goes, that's really dangerous. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't think I can help you. I'm like, it's okay. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Second time I haven't asked, is he okay? Uh, <laughs> he's like, no, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine, whatever. And he starts to walk away and he turns around and he says, do you really know how to make something on that? And I was like, I work as a barista. And he's like, oh, that's good, that's good. And then he walked down the hall and this is the part I can't really remember because I vaguely remember somebody, because I remember I got yelled at about the machine and I think he turned around. I didn't hear much of what was going on, but I think he said, I'm the one who did it you know, like leave her alone. And I never did get my latte. I, I, you know, whatever we got called back on to scene, but yeah, those are my stories about <laughs> Rick Schroeder. I, I hit him with my car and then I almost blew him up with an espresso machine. I didn't mean to, sorry, Rick Schroeder, but, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So we'll leave it there. <laughs> Bye.